don't forget to subscribe. What's going on everyone? Jay Bookie back again with another build and today we're going to be putting together a T90 main battle tank from Zvezda. Zvezda is a Russian company. They've been around for a while making models but their new kits are supposed to be awesome and I've been waiting two months for this so without further ado let's get into it. First thing, take a look at this box, is this awesome art that's on the back. Zvezda really put together a nice presentation with this kit. Also some close-up shots of the more intricate parts of this kit in case you have a question during your build. There's also a showcase of some of Zvezda's other kits on the back of the box, like this BMP-2 and the T-72A. And last but not least, there's a color guide for Zvezda paints and Tamiya paints in case you didn't know what color to paint this kit. Opening the box, we're greeted with several individually packaged sprues. On sprues, on sprues, on sprues, on sprues. There are a lot of pieces in this kit, and those packages have more than one sprue in them. And just because there's a lot of plastic doesn't mean they skimped on quality, because there is some great detail in these pieces. That is incredible. We also have a package containing a tow chain, some clear pieces, and water slide decals, all of which are very nice. And also a manual, which is in Russian and English. It is very well detailed and easy to understand for the most part. Talk is cheap. It's time to build. First thing I'm going to do is cut out these pieces with my crappy sharp side cutters. Come here, you. Yeah! Although this is a really well engineered kit, there's some pieces that you're going to have to clean up. So get your sharp hobby knife and your sandpaper. You know what to do. I use Tamiya extra thin glue to bond all my pieces together. It is simply the best. So far there's been a couple pieces which you have to hold in with friction and then glue down. It's a little tricky but once you get the hang of it it's alright. Kit's got some internal pieces. I guess you can glue the hatches up. I don't because I'm weird. So many small parts! So the kit comes with a real nice two-piece barrel, however there's some pretty prominent seams so you gotta sand them down and putty them up with 
delicious Tamiya cancer paste. I mean, uh, Tamiya Grey Putty. I can build a nuclear reactor faster than this machine gun and mount. It has so many small parts in it. This music makes me feel like Blade Runner. I would rather eat glass than do these guide horns ever again. The tow chain which comes with this kit has to be split into two parts and then connected with four very tiny hooks. It is very, very frustrating, so take your time. ready to paint so it's finally built took forever there are so many tiny frustrating parts in it but as you can see the detail is absolutely excellent in this I start by priming with a Vallejo black primer being shot from my Iwata BCS airbrush at 25 psi it gives it a nice even coat
So now I'm going to use a little bit of AK Interactive White, give it a little bit of pre-shading, lighten some of these areas up, give them some false highlights, but I'm still going to go over this kit with some oil and some lighter acrylic paint and enhance the shading even more. Alright, base coat time. I'm gonna hit this up with some ammo of Make Dark Green from the Mythical Russian color set. It's about the closest color I can find to a 90s T90 in Russian service. All right, let me take care of these tracks. No primer, I'm doing a mix of Vallejo Black, Vallejo Armor Brown, and two drops of Orange Rust. And it gave me this really nice off black color, which kind of accentuates all of the individual nooks and crannies on these tracks. I'm also gonna do a little bit of pre-shading. So we're gonna take some NC-1200 Protected, which is another color in the Mythical Russian color set, and just give it some highlights in select areas that I feel would accentuate the colors that are already been laid down. I know I'm talking a lot, but bear with me. I gotta tell you guys what's going on. So I'm doing a really fine mist coat of Vallejo sand. It's kinda dulling down the color. I thought the green was a little bit too bright and it worked out perfectly. And when everything is done, I'm gonna give a nice coating of Vallejo matte varnish just to lock in that color and protect it before I start the weathering process. Who wants to make a pin wash? I do. You use a little bit of MIG enamel odorless thinner. Mix it with some Windsor Newton oils. In this case, we're going to be using black and raw umber. It's going to give you a real nice color. bring out that track color a little bit more we're gonna lay down some to me a black panel liner 
as you can see it really makes those colors pop out more makes them more rich all right let's get into some more oils Ab Tylung 502 and other oils are going to be used to blend in some more colors. So here I'm going over these ERA blocks again with a little bit darker version of the olive green. I mixed some raw umber into it. I'm trying to get some tonal variation. I want these bricks to look like they've been sitting out in the sun for a while and have lost some of their color. Moving on, we're gonna do a little bit of streaking. So I'm using some rust streaks and some grime for modern vehicles. And I'm just gonna be using a little bit of odorless thinner and dragging these down from raised portions like these rivets and this side uh, applique armor. And finishing up, now we're going to hand paint some of the glass pieces and other doodads that are on this tank. So right now I'm going to be using a combination of Tamiya red, blue, yellow, and green clear colors to get this done. We're going to hit this machine gun up with some Citadel lead belcher with a black dry brush over the top of it. Gonna give us a nice worn down firearms effect. Holy crap, looks like we made it. That's right, we finally finished. And this is the end result. I'm sorry for the poor lighting. I need to get some new bulbs in these lamps that I have, but I think you get the point. This thing came out great. It took a really long time. It had a lot of fiddly parts. There was some major frustration, but in the end, it came out exactly the way I wanted it to. Was it looking for something that was overly weathered? I wanted a modern vehicle, which was taken care of, you know, and had a couple of little imperfections in it. That's it, so. I just want to thank everyone. Thank you for watching this video. 
Uh, you have supported me more than you can possibly understand by just watching the video. And if you like what you saw, please hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, and also tell your friends about it. Share me around. I'm going to be posting this video as many places as I can on Facebook, on Reddit, that sort of thing. Spread the word. I got more content coming. I just bought three new models. They're sitting on the desk downstairs, and we're going to do videos for them. So take it easy, everyone. Have a good day. Keep building more models, and I'll see you next time.